Hi guys, this is Rajesh Yadav again and in today's topic I am going to cover interview questions based on first dot variable and last dot variable concept. So before starting I would request you all to please subscribe the channel, like it and if wherever you uh, have any difficulty understanding any question you can comment into the comment section. So let's move on to the next section. Okay, here is the first question. What is by group processing in SAS? So by group processing enables when we use a by statement in a data step whether we are using a set statement or whether we are using a merge statement. So by group basically makes the group of similar type of observations on of a particular variable when we using in by statement. This will get clear when we move further to another question. Here is the answer. Uh, by group processing is a method of processing observations from one or more SAS data sets that are grouped or ordered by values of one or more common variables. Okay, this will get clear in upcoming questions. So let's move on to the next question. What condition is required for by group processing? The only condition required when we use by group processing is data set should be sorted or indexed according to by group variables. Let's move on to the next question. What do you understand by first dot variable and last dot variable? Guys, this is the most amazing concept when you work in base SAS. This is the answer. First and last variable creates when you use by group processing. SAS sets first dot variable equal one when it is processing the first observation in a by group and sets last dot variable equal one when it is processing the last observation in a group. So when a group is created with similar type of values, for example, in a data set, we have the account number and we have duplicate account numbers like one, 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 one. So in a group like four, four times one is there for the, so for the first observation in that group, the value of first dot variable first dot account number equal one and we are reading the last observation dot of that particular group then the value of last dot variable equal one and first dot variable or first dot account number would be zero. Let's move on to the practical questions. Okay, how to remove duplicate rows in below data set using first dot variable and last dot variable. So this is a very common question. So whenever an interviewer asks you what are the various ways of removing duplicates, so you probably say we use no dupe and no dupe key, but this is the another way of removing duplicates and the interviewer is more interested to know how you will remove the duplicates using first dot variable and last dot variable concept. So I've covered this question here. So if you can see in the EMP data, we have one variable account number and we have the values 1, 1, 1, then 2 and 3, 3. So here 1, 1, 1 has the duplicate values and the last 3, 3 also have the duplicate value, but 2 is unique value. And this data is already sorted. So for by group processing, we need a data should be sorted. Okay, so this is already sorted. So what would be the answer? How would you write the code? Here it is. So here, what we are doing, we are doing data, remove duplicate, ram dupe. Then we are setting the data, EMP data, by account number. So here, by using by, it will create by group processing. So there would be a one group created for the first three observations, one, one, one. So in that observation, we are saying in the group, only pick first dot account number equal one. So in that group, only pick first observation and rest two observations would be deleted. This is the first group, then this is the second group, and this one, this is a unique. Okay, obviously second, uh, this one would become uh, only one observation, so here we have multiple observation for the third group. So this one is the first group, this one is the second group, and this one is become third group. All right, so uh, let's see the intermediate table, how first and dot account number and last dot account number has the values. So if you can see, I have created this uh, intermediate table. So first dot account number, last dot account number variable, I just wrote it down just to understand the purpose. These will not be written to output data set. So if you can see in the first by group for one, 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 first dot account number has value one because this is the first observation in that group. 
but this is not the last uh, observation so that's why last dot account number has the value 0 for the second observation if you see the first dot account number has value 0 and last dot account number has value 0 so these are not first and last both have the value 0 and for the third observation we see that for, this is not the first in the group so it has the value 0 but it is the last observation so the value of last dot account number equal 1 okay so what observation should we pick if according to our condition if first dot account number equal 1 so first dot account number is the first observation so this observation will get picked and written to output data set ram dupe for the second observation this one is only one observation here first dot account number and last dot account number is one so there is no duplicate for this one so this will also return to output data set if we see the last observation last two observations there would be a by group of 3 3 in the by group the first observation would have the value 1 and last dot account number is 0 and the last observation because this is uh, not the first observation in the by group so the value it has 0 and uh, last dot account number has value 1 so first observation will be returned to output data set similarly you can see that if we have used this is the order here we are picking the first observation if you want to pick the last observation of every by group so you could have used last dot account number equal one that way you would also be able to delete the duplicates it's depend on your usage but in that case if we have used first dot account number or last dot account number equal one then we would be able to remove the duplicates by using either ways i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question okay this one is a little tricky but i hope you would be able to answer or you would be able to understand it so the question is write a program to calculate department wise total salary using first dot variable and last dot variable so we have this uh, data set employee and this has id department and salary so if you can see these employees the employee id they are part of hr it finance again hr it it so we need to calculate the total department wise so if we see for hr what would be the total hr is two times so 60000 plus 35000 so salary a total salary for hr department would be 95000 similarly finance is only once so it would be 45000 but it is for three times so 40 plus 65 plus 80 so it should become 185 correct so 185 1 lakh 85000 should be the it department's total salary how would they achieve uh, using first total last so here uh, we want to work on department data so by group processing what is the condition we needed for it data should be sorted with by group variable so here uh, department we are going to use in by statement so we need to sort the data using department so first i am just sorting the data proc sort data employee out employee sorted by department run so now the data is sorted so id you can see these are no longer in sorted order but department is in sorted finance is first hr is second and it is third so now you can easily create by groups how the, the by groups are becoming so the first observation if you can see it is the only observation so it is uh, unique but in next two we have two observations for hr so the total of these we need and then in it we have three observations so using first dot last how we will calculate let's see into the next slide okay so this is the whole program so first i just created the uh, first dot last intermediate table for understand purpose so if you can see in the finance first dot department value is one one for first and last because uh, this is the first observation for hr we have one zero zero one so you would be able to understand and for that last one because this one is the first observation so it has the first dot department value one last is zero and for the last observation we see last two department equal one so the total we'll see we want this to be calculated this way okay so this is the program so we are creating data department total salary so here we are dropping id salary okay if you want to write a efficient program because this id is not used in the program we could have removed it while 
reading the data in set statement so here we could have used drop but there are only six observation here so and it's just for example purpose so i've used it outside but you use it here in set statement all right so now we are creating by groups here uh, after set by department so once we use department uh, in by statement the groups uh, became and now we are picking first dot department if the first observation then we are creating one variable total and we are assigning salary in it so for the first observation because uh, the, this is a first dot department so 45000 is signed in total next else statement it will not go into the else part and the last is last statement i am just giving if last dot department equal 1 then that observation should return to the output data set so for the first observation last dot department equal 1 so 45000 would be written this observation would should return into output data set so the first one is first department 1 last department 1 and 45000 is written to output data set department total salary now move on to the next observation so if when uh, the next observation is read so here the value of first row department yes of course it is 1 so total salary it will assign 60000 in total but then else part it will not go and here it will go and check if last row department equal 1 so we see no last row department is not 1 so it will go again and read the next observation and uh, it will see hr uh, the same by group so the department is hr it will see if first dot department so here it will see first dot department no it is not first dot department so it will not go into the if condition it will go into the else part so else part we already have a salary uh, assigned 60000 in total total plus salary here it is doing cumulative sum okay so it will assign total plus salary so it's a 60000 plus 35000 total is 95000 and we are last condition if last row department equal 1 so it will write that observation to output data set total salary and into the next see the i for it department the by group would be for three observations so if you see it's the first row department then salary for it it will assign 40000 then it will go check if last door department uh, if this is not last door department it will go and read the next observation and here it will check is it a first door department zero so total plus salary it will 40000 plus 60000 it is there would be cumulative sum and become 1 lakh 5000 is it last door department equal 1 for this observation no it will go and read the next observation and this time it will go and check it is first door department condition is not true it will go into the else part and this time it will do the cumulative sum 1 lakh 5000 and add 80000 so it will become 1 lakh 85000 here if last door department equal 1 so here last door department equal 1 so it will write that observation into output data set so this way we will get 1 lakh 85000 so this would be the output table and i just only kept first door department last door department just for understanding purpose so these two variable will be returned to the output data set all right so i hope uh, now first dot last concept is clear to you guys a lot of question is asked on it and when we are going to assess someone in base section of sas we always always ask question on first dot last concept so if you are clear with that first dot last how these variables gets created and what value and how the value is assigned then probably you can achieve any thing that is possible using first dot last okay let's move on to the next part all right so so the topic is complete and if you have any questions you can write down into the comment section for next topics what i am going to cover so i will cover probably data com combining and data merging in my next session so i hope you would join it so for that please do subscribe this channel so you will be get connected to me and you you can increase your knowledge as well as you will prepare for the interview all right guys thank you so much for your patience we'll meet in next session thank you